Hi, I'm Lou and today I'm going to show you how to make an air filtering mask with stuff you have laying around the house. If you're the one that is sick, simple masks like this are good because they keep you from coughing the germs out onto other people and surfaces. However, if you're the one that's trying to keep from getting sick, these aren't great because they're fairly gappy. We need to create an air mask that has a tight seal all the way around your mouth and nose. And we're going to try to do this with materials you already have so you don't have to leave your house. Our goal is to make something more like this N95 mask that fits tightly to your face and has minimal air gaps. By the way, some N95 masks have an exhale vent right here, but it's not a requirement. Look around for some clean, breathable material. Here's a paper towel, and this is the one that has a select a size, but ideally you want a big square one. You could maybe tape together some Kleenexes. I found this Swiffer pad that might work, and you could use a t-shirt. Next, look around the house for metal wire that you can bend and it will hold its shape. Coat hanger wire will work. Here's some twist ties. If you happen to have electrical house wiring, you can strip off this outer sheath and get wire like this on the inside. I rated my wife's art supplies and I found pipe cleaners, this little wire, and these things. I'll demonstrate using a coat hanger because that's what most people probably have. Coat hangers are not all made the same. This one's thicker. You actually want to get the thinnest, cheapest coat hanger you can find. You'll also need two rubber bands and some tape. Cut your coat hanger here, then bend it down and cut here to the same length. I'll use this respirator mask to demonstrate the shape we want to bend the wire into. So this is about five inches this way and four and a half inches this way. This is approximately a 60 degree angle and then we just need to bend these around on the bottom. This next part will be a bit tedious but extremely important. Put the wire on your face and start bending it to cover all the gaps. You see how there's like an air gap there and down here. You need to custom fit this wire to go all the way around your face and leave no gaps. It's best to work on this in front of the bathroom mirror so you can see all your gaps. It took me about 20 minutes of frustration but I finally got a good fit. And I'll tape these two wires together. Now we're going to put a temporary piece of tape this way and this way. Lay down your fabric, put an object like a baseball or a piece of fruit on top of that, and then set your wire frame on top of that. Now lift up the edges of your fabric all around and mark about one inch above the wire. Now cut this shape out with the scissors. Fold over one inch all the way around to create crease lines. This gets a little tricky as you go around because it bunches up, but you need to fold over your material and tape it down, like this. Here I am halfway done, and here it is completely taped. Now cut your rubber bands and tie them together. Now poke tiny holes about halfway down on each side, right underneath the wire. Pull your rubber band through and tie it off. And here's our finished mask. If you've done this correctly, you should have a nice tight fit all the way around. Thanks for watching and good luck making your mask.